Hello, this is Mrs. Howard, and today we're going to take a look at how to write a claim evidence reasoning report. Today we're going to write this claim evidence reasoning report using page 18 in your SEP notebook. And the data we're going to use for our CER is found on page 12 of your SEP notebook. A CER report starts with a claim, and that's a statement that describes what theory you have as a result of your investigation. Claims sound like statements of facts or things we've discovered. Evidence, on the other hand, is a report of the qualitative or quantitative data and observations that you collect during an investigation. It's going to sound more like information that's been collected. And sometimes that information is going to be numbers that you record in a data chart. But other time that information is going to be observations that you record while you're doing an investigation. And lastly, we have reasoning. This is the explanation why you believe your theory to be true. It connects your discovery to the science. And a lot of times these look like summary statements. Today we're going to be looking at this page of our interactive notebook as we write a claim evidence reasoning report. And we're going to base this report on the investigation that we conducted using the paper towels. You might remember our investigation started with a question, which brand of paper towels is the most absorbent? We then collected data and made our discovery that brand two was the most absorbent. In our claim evidence reasoning report, we start with that discovery. It becomes our claim. To write your claim, I've given you a few sentence starters on the left-hand side of the page. You can use one of those sentence starters with our discovery. So in this case, I'm writing, it is evident that brand two of the paper towels is the most absorbent brand of paper towels. Next, we move on over to the evidence. This data chart shows all of the evidence that we collected while we did our investigation. And this data needs to be reported in the evidence section in sentences. And on the left side of your page, I've given you some sentence starters to help you. Here's the data that we collected on our investigation. You might want to pause this video so you have the data handy while you're typing up this evidence. Notice as I typed my evidence, I used a sentence starter from the left side of the page, and I'm typing in evidence from every single paper towel. And I'm using the average remaining water for each piece of paper towel. You always have to represent everything that you measured in order to draw your conclusion and provide reasoning at the end. And if you're typing numbers, make sure you include labels on those numbers. The final thing we're going to look at is reasoning. And remember, reasoning is that explanation of why you believe your theory to be true. It sounds a lot like a summary statement. And on the left side of your notebook page, I've given you a few sentence starters to help you out. So for my reasoning, I'm going to type that based on this evidence, we can conclude that paper towel brand number two is the most absorbent paper towel. It left behind the smallest amount of water, which means it absorbed the most. When your CER is finished, it will look something like what I've created, but please try to put the information into your own words. Don't copy exactly what I've created here. Good luck.